Assroom of the Elite Season 3, a new PBS dropped, and this time it's not some bullshit PowerPoint slide with no dialogue. No, no, no. We actually have dialogue and working subtitles. Thank you, Karakawa Anime. Let's see it. Let's see it. Arisu Sakayanagi. <laughs> Destroy okay, I'm just telling you straight up, what is stopping Anokoji from using his piano and calligraphy skills on this fucking girl right here? She has a fucking walking cane. Snap her fucking other leg! I destroy you! She talks big. B class first? Are we gonna have to team up with wait? B class, that's Ichinose's class, right? I'm not crazy, right? Ryu was C class, B class is, you know, Ichinose. They're gonna have to crush B class first, but we have ties to, you know, Ichinose. Maybe there's an alliance forming against A class? Because? Ichinose? Ichinose has a second? No, I think this might be a red herring. Ichinose though? This- yo, Don't give me another Kushida moment! No. New opening! This is so good. This is so good. Right over here, right over here, right over here. Okay. We got Albert. We got our boys Albert, Ibuki, and green hair guy. We fucked him up too. I remember, I remember. Manabu? Manabu and his assistants around? This guy. Gilgamesh. Bro, who is he? I think he was the next in succession for the class president, right? Nagumo? This, this is the next time president, right? That was talking about how, you know, our class structure, it's gonna change. We're gonna do full meritocracy now. Suzune. Oh, yeah. New girl? Koenji? K? So many things are happening. Okay, I told you guys that there will be a lot of dialogue in this. I got baited by the first couple seconds. This is just the openings playing now with the fucking PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> Did Addison just fall here? This is what I'm telling you we should do. I'm not sure if this is Addison. I think it might be, right? Why if it like fucking just push down Addison? What is she gonna do? She's a cripple. Look, she has a walking stick. Just fucking get rid of the walking stick. But I'm telling you, what if there's a moment in the future where Arisu actually was playing for the long con the entire time? She's actually not um, disabled. She never had a problem. The walking cane is like a sword, and she's gonna pull that shit on Ryu and the next time he tries to jump her. Okay. Baldi! Private Koji and Ichinose scenes, bro. Are they actually gonna team up? We're gonna do an alliance against Arisu, but Arisu said everybody has two different sides, you know? <laughs> What's going on here? Are we in detention? No, I don't think so. Koji is here too, but Koenji? Koenji is actually participating. It looks like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Yeah, we see Hiyori, yeah, the book girl. I remember her. She's very soft-spoken. She's in Ryun's class. It's kind of crazy that this beautiful angel is in Ryun's class. More dialogue. Manabu! Koji! Yo, we got paid it so fucking hard with the amount of dialogue that I said would be in this video. Basically, the intro was, hmm, don't trust anybody because everybody has two different sides. I'm going for class B. And then the big, and then at the end, they play the fucking opening. And then the ending is, Classroom of the Elite Season 3 will air in January 2024. That's it? Yeah, we know. We know. It's going to air in January. We'll be there to watch it. There's another scene here, though, huh? Another scene here with Anakoji and Manabu. You know that they're probably talking about, I don't, I'm not sure, maybe the future of the school. Maybe he's trying to recruit him again. Maybe they're talking about his dear sister, Susan, that he loves so much, right? But still, this trailer, <laughs> this trailer, the most hyped thing, definitely the fucking opening. Hold up. I want to go back and revisit some moments. I want to revisit some moments. Look at this. Ooh. 
But class B first. Interesting twist. Everyone has two sides. I never thought that would happen. I thought that like she would this like, it, it would be like a versus Arisu arc, but now it's looking like we're doing a little detour. We're gonna have to work on each nose, which I'm perfectly fine with. Right? Look at Koenji, he's so happy here. He's gonna enjoy his fucking little trip to the mountain. New girls? I'm not sure. Maybe background characters? <laughs> the fucking classy goons that we beat the shit out of? Manabu, who's always looking at Ayano Koji more than his little sister? This guy, what's his name? I forget, but the new, he looks like a douchebag. If you just look at his eyes and the way that he looks on at you, the it's not a good look. But he did get, you know, put as class president by Manabu himself. So he must be fucking legit. The fucking, what's it called? Argo Squad from season one. I forgot their names, I'm not gonna lie. I remember Sudo. I think this is the guy that did Muddy Kita, right? In season one. He's like, haha, Hori Kita, more like Muddy Kita. He's actually kind of goaded. Oh, this is gonna be like a scene where Arisu like visits like Koji's classroom and they're like, what? Why is Arisu from class A here? Don't know her. It looks like a new girl, right? It looks like a completely new girl. Ichinose. K. <laughs> Wait, maybe Koji sent a text to K right here because they don't want to talk in public and K is checking their phone. Ichinose Ryuen. This evil bitch. I don't know where we're going with Kushida. Like, she said that her next goal is to get us fucking, like, um, expelled as well. Us as an Ana Koji. Like, is that gonna happen? I don't know. I thought we're trying to get rid of her, but maybe she's here to stick around. Like, is there a redemption arc happening for Kushida? I have no clue. I'm gonna laugh so hard at this scene when it actually happens in the anime. When Arisu gets fucking pushed down. <laughs> And this is the fucking Argo spot, right? This is our technical like NPCs from our class and Arisu just falls besides them. <laughs> and like, here. Do you need help? I can help you get up. And Arisu, don't fucking touch me, you trash. You fucking <laughs> side character looking ass. Koji and K, you know, doing their romantic evening outings, you know, talking about, I don't know, love. It's gotta be love, right? They're not scheming here, right? She's not being used. <laughs> Holy shit, Katsuragi is still here. Katsuragi, this bald motherfucker, still hasn't graduated. He, how old is he actually? I'm not sure, but no way he's a fucking high school student. Ichinose and Koji. This means that there's gonna be a moment where K gets super jealous, right? If they're hanging out like this, if there's a reason for us to work with Ichinose in order to go against Arisu, K is gonna get so fucking jealous and those moments are gonna be so good. I don't know what's going on here, but whenever Koenji's around, let's fucking go. Don't know this girl, but she looks cute. So, so th th right over here, right? Hiyori, uh, Ichinose, so I guess these are like class B girls, right? No, 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 sorry, sorry. Hiyori isn't class B. Hiyori isn't. She's class C. And Koji and Manabu, they really like to meet out in the twi in the moonlight outside, huh? And sorry, it's not really outside, but in the dark like this. Now, is the true ship of the show K and Ayana Koji? Is the true ship of the show Ayana Koji and Ichinose? People sometimes mean about meme about how it's Ryuen and Ayana Koji because Ayana Koji fucking texts Ryuen more than K. But I think the true ship is Manabu and Koji, dude. These two have been having it off since the beginning of season one, bro. <laughs> Something is sparking. This is a nice trailer. The opening was really high. It gave us a lot more, you know, information on what might happen in season three. A little bit of a twist against Class B now. And then we're gonna have to team up and maybe fight against Arisa. But I'm just telling you, bro. All we gotta do is fucking break her other leg. 